today I'm going to talk about those pastors. You know, pastors are blessing. They're supposed to keep the sheep of God, like the congregation. And there are pastors that are very, very humble, very good men. God has really changed their attitude and everything. However, there are pastors uh, that has hurt their congregation. There are so many people that has left the church because pastors have made them cry. Pastors are jealous of their anointing. Pastors among pastors are jealous of themselves. They hurt themselves. They talk bad about each, each other. Uh, pastors are selfish. Pastors are lot uh, have lot of ego. Not all pastors. Again, I'm saying they are great men of God, but there are those pastors whose attitude is still bad. You know me myself. I had to leave the church because of pastors. Because the pastors, I heard that I I helped the pastor so much growing the church, and then when he feel that he is threatened by my anointing, he did everything so that I leave the church, and. You know, the judgment of a pastor from God is, 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 more, is more than a normal person in the congregation. Sometimes you will see pastors are jealous of the person in the congregation that God has put a great anointing on them because they are humble. So these pastors, you are going to miss your, your blessing. You are going to miss the rapture. You're going to miss your paradise. So be cautious. Pastors, I'm talking to you. Please. It's it's um it's a word from God. It's a warning from God for all pastors that are making people leaving the church. Great judgment on you. Yes, the pastor need to correct the congregation and discipline them, but not at the point to uh, to to hurt that person in the church, that that person do not believe in God and leave the church. It's not good. So when I went to talk to the other pastor and tell him what happened, so he said, I need to apologize because there is a curse. He can't pronounce curses against me. So I said to him, me, I cannot go and uh, there cannot be curses that he will pronounce against me because I haven't done anything bad. He's the one that, uh, you know, he did something bad. He saw that the anointing of God was great in my life. I have helped him to increase the church. You know, people started coming to the church. But see, because of his ego, because of his jealousy, I had to leave the church. So this is how people are. There are pastors that hurt, hurt pastors because they are jealous of the pastor, because they are jealous how God is elevating them. There are pastors who is jealous of their own congregation because God is elevating somebody in the congregation because of their humbleness. And God is, it's not because you're a pastor that we respect you that you are not going to be judged. No, God is going to judge you like he judged his congregation. If you're a pastor, even you have the favor of God when you're bad, God is going to judge you and your judgment is more than that. Um, not because you're a pastor, you're allowed to say what you want. So there are so many people will say, oh, what type of God is that? Because a pastor or a Christian person has hurt them. No, God never changed. God is God. Human is human. We, we have sin against, we have sin in us. So if a pastor or any Christian has hurt you, do not blame God because God loves you. God's still in your favor. If you have to, if you have left the church, continue to pray to God, continue to pray and fast. Even if, if you don't want to go to church now, stay with God until God tell you which church you have to go. So pastor, listen to me. Even if you are a pastor, it doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want. Okay. If something is wrong, something is wrong. God is going to judge you. And the congregation will know that something is wrong. They can address the issue. The pastors that take the glory of God for themselves, the pastors that commit adultery, the pastors that lie, all this is included for the judgment. So these people that are working, that are playing with the work of God, oh my God, be, be cautious. Many people will say, who are you to talk with us pastors? Go and ask God who I am. He will tell you. So pastors, 
this is what you do you you give god a bad image and so many people abandon god because of you it's like satan always trying to fight god so this is what we christian pastors we do trying to fight god you are giving god a bad image because of your attitude especially christian that is leaving church because of you especially those pastors that do not uh, accept that woman has to preach so so many men they do not preach they don't uh, do the work of god so when women are preaching they are not happy i got a pastor who told me eh? um somebody people are not giving me time because a woman is preaching because you are preaching in my church a woman what is more important that i preach the word of god or you get the money a secret to be a great pastor is to stay humble in front of in front of the throne of god at god's feet you know in the in the past when i was preaching i also got pastors you know men pastors that accused me falsely in the church because i was preaching okay guys uh today the church is sick and the pastor is like a doctor if a doctor do not have experience all the patient will die so if the pastor do not spend time with god uh, and consecrating himself so the people will leave the congregation people will leave the church will leave god and um, you know before you open a church you need to ask god if you are meant to open a church because so many pastors if they open a church by, the, by themselves they close the church when they want they reopen when they want that's because they are not meant to open a church they didn't ask god if they should open a church they close the church and then we lose soul for jesus there was a pastor who said he will close he will close the church i said no to him then i said if god tells you to close the church so go on he said no it is his decision not god decision then who are you to decide when to close a church when to open a church guys in mauritius i went to a church a very famous church in mauritius christian church when i went there i went to sit in the front so there is a lady and a guy very pride you know christian pride christian so the lady came and said don't sit here because it's me and my husband who sit there you know me i didn't want to tell her frankly on her face because it's a church so i went uh, behind i sat and god tell me this kind of people even if they make their way to paradise their seat is behind not even in the front you know guys when i was in another country i was in a church so for me i like putting my lipstick representing myself putting deodorant uh, because you know it's it's good it's very good to be hygienic you smell good and everything so in that church you are not supposed to put to put lipstick uh, to put deodorant my god me i don't understand this kind of christian eh? so then this is why people don't come to church they accuse god but human is the one doing the bad thing so this one day that the the pastor the the pastor told the woman pastor to say that loud in the church you know what um so many women are coming in that church putting lipstick they are seducing men in this church and the pastor made me leave the church because i drink coffee i put deodorant and i put lipstick i'm telling you christian you are sick stop being stupid like that you know what happened one day i was doing a course yeah in a church me and someone who has been praying since i'm 16 years old never in prostitution never in drugs never in alcohol always you know straight to god very frank with god so then um, I went to this church. I did a course over there. That prophet, he was a drug addict before. He just get converted. Now he's a prophet, yeah? So this is what happened. God showed them that I was chosen to do something, yeah? I will not tell every situation. Those people that know, they will know. Now this prophet, you know what he said? No, God do not look at the appearance of people. And uh, we, like... 
He's sh he's shocked that God chose me. Yeah, but me, I have never been in drug, alcohol, prostitution. Never. You've been in drug. You became a prophet, and you say that God do not look at appearance. What did I do? This kind of people who judge, uh, who judge God, who judge God, people like that. You will be judged. You will lose your anointing. Everything that I'm relating to you is true. But I never left God because the Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit is God. They are in their sound mind. You human that are sick in your head. You know what happened? One day I was in church. You know, they are talking about beautiful women. They are marine spirit, mermaid spirit. Yeah, I agree. They are mermaid spirit. But not all beautiful women that come to church are like seducing men. So you mean when we are Christian, you cannot be beautiful? So when I'm beautiful, I come to church, I'm seducing men. You know, these people that are, I believe in demon possess. I believe in deliverance. But because you are beautiful, every, you are too much in demoniac world. You don't spend too much time with God. So everybody that is beautiful, you see the, he's a seducer. So a beautiful woman, a, beaut a, a handsome man cannot be a Christian. Okay, you, you are sick in your head. Go and pray to God before you do this stupid thing. You pretend that you know everything. Christian, God is warning you. Go and spend time with God. Stop doing stupid things. Pretending that you know everything. Every people is bad in, in front of you. You are the one. No. Go and spend time with God. Stop doing the work of God if you cannot. Go and spend time with God first. So if you are beautiful, you cannot be Christian. And you know me, I will never tell somebody that I'm a pastor, I preach and all that. No, I just come humbly, sit down and just, you know, follow what they are doing. So you degrade a God name by what you are doing, your action. So I'm not talking about, for example, somebody's coming in front of my door trying to beat me, trying to. I'm not going to let you do that. This, I will go against you. I'm talking about pastors, how they treat their congregation and how they treat people. And this is what I'm talking. But if somebody is coming in front of my door trying to harass me, oh my God, you are not, I'm not letting you go like that. 